Greetings, Sensei. I am the Red Monk, and welcome, welcome to my uh, dojo. And you know, the more time that passes, the more I realize just how mind-numbingly stupid conservatism is. Like, that's not supposed to be an insult. There's some friendly, far alt-right wing people out there. You just gotta look hard enough, and oh boy, you gotta look hard. But that's besides the point. I honestly hate political views as a whole. They're so grimy and toxic. I will avoid all that shit on this channel as much as I can. But I strongly see the government as a thing that keeps us humans in check. Like the regulations exist so we don't kill each other. You know, the least like the purge the better. I believe personal freedom is important. Yeah, owning a firearm for self-defense makes you eight times more likely to shoot yourself or an adjacent person on accident than an intruder in self-defense. And a firearm has no use. It's a toy. But any person should be allowed to shoot their own foot off, as long as they follow the safety regulations. It's a bit of a conundrum there. And that's one reason I don't like conservatism. That trickle-down economics, that is complete bullshit. The government should never support the few rich. The bourgeoisie is corruption of the rich in America, and it's sucking the life out of this nation. It is really only limiting how far we could go and how well each person could live with our current technology. It pretty much becomes what can make the old white man rich, whether it's by levering the government or killing our atmosphere. Like, seriously, our current government here in America is made to keep the poor poor and the rich rich. And in extreme cases of a company-focused government, the purge actually happens. You know, shit rivers flow down the street and order and safety is not kept. An example, the homestead strike during the Industrial Revolution. It actually happened an hour from where I'm filming this video. I have no problem with hiring rich people, all the power to them, but the average citizen should be well off. The farming techniques and technology exists in 2019. There's a lovely thing that exists called grocery stores. You might have tried it. The struggle for resources is something we move past as humans. So why the hell can't the incredibly rich settle with being incredibly rich with slightly less money? It's at the cost of the quality of life of the whole population. And this comes down hardest on young people, us, the 18 to 24 year old range. Fresh out of high school, the poor stay poor and the rich stay rich. Now, how rich were you fresh out of high school? Not the older people who went through college 20 years ago. Right now, in 2019, the world's coming down especially harsh on young adults. It's a whole new game nowadays. You know, I'll just go into all the expenses I have as a 19 year old young adult here in uh, Pennsylvania, you know, or uh, would have as an independent young adult. Rent. That's 300 to $400 a month. An entire paycheck if you have an entry level job. Like, all the people who just finished crawling out of the birth canal do. Now, I live with my parents as I'm starting out in college because I'm pretty much saving an entire paycheck every month. So after you pay rent, you gotta pay living costs. This is uh, food, water, and all the extra spending money, which you know we're balling in. But anyhow, that's actually like the cheapest thing. If you get yourself pinto beans, rice, vegetables, and peanut butter, okay, small tangent, peanut butter is a godly gift. It's so calorie dense and delicious. My breakfast on a day I leave my room is two huge scoops of peanut butter and a glass of water. Remember to eat your breakfast. 
It's the momentum that sets you up for the rest of your day. All right, back to the list. Gas and car note. This I'm extremely, extremely livid about. You know, gas is gas. It's overly priced, but affordable. But the, the car note, car insurance is just a thing that twists the knife in the stomach of us young Americans. We have our entire life ahead of us. Like, you need a good breakfast to get the momentum for the rest of our lives. And costing people way more for car insurance is an absolute parasite for people who are only trying to start out. Yes, young people are more prone to accidents, but does that justify taking more than an entire paycheck every month? Hell no. The entire point of being young is to screw up. That's how evolution works. And how our minds work as well. Trial and error. Being a human being, we cannot be expected to drive perfectly. Us young people drive every day. And many, many young people fuck up and rear end somebody. Only an accident. And of course, insurance will use that as an increase to screw you harder. <laughs> if you work at an insurance company, I'm not harshing you. You gotta get your bread. It's your hustle. But if you're like a leading figure for an insurance company, you're making the world around you a worse place. Therefore, the world is better off without you. It's just that simple. I got in two accidents, both of which were below 15 miles per hour, and now the shitbag of an insurance company dropped me. All too fast to start doing what we paid them for. Now, I split my insurance with my dad because I'd have to pick up a second job to pay for that shit. My dad is where I get the idea for this video. He calls this conundrum the total fuckover of young people in America. Yeah. You know what I forgot? The car itself. It's $4,000 get out of the house charge. Love it. Public transportation is such a great alternative. Crowdfunding is one of the core fundamentals of how we got from uh, this to this. Like, instead of buying a car, you can buy one one thousandth of a bus. Public transportation is cheaper, better for the environment, and increases economic mobility for the poor. And public transportation sucks in America. Many cities require owning a car to get around, to find higher paying jobs, and with just how expensive car insurance is, it's a total noose for young people. Now, let's say you don't got a car because you live in the dorms at your university, you fall into yet another crime. Student loans. I have a student loan. People in their 30s have a student loan. Now, nothing kills your starting momentum in the world of being an adult than being in debt thousands of dollars. I can't believe student loans are real. Now, I do not live in the dormitories, though as smelly and fun as sharing a restroom with 26 other men sounds, I'm going to a community college for my commercial pilot certificate. The flight hours roughly compensate for the cost of on or near campus living. The world needs people to go through college so we have lawyers, accountants, doctors, and pilots. And that's really only becoming an option for people with their parents' support. And by support, I mean money. And if you drop out, your student loan comes down even harder. Like, being young, you screw up, and the student loan only makes it harder. Now, I know college shouldn't be easy, duh, but in the terms of being independent, responsible, and studying and shit, but the issue is, is how tight the noose is monetarily, and how much America is becoming India with the whole caste system. In the caste system, is a total shit tier of a society. Like, poor people should have the opportunity to wiggle their way up in the world. I mean, with some variation, there's a almost same probability of a real smarty to be born in a low caste as a high caste. So you're pretty much wasting a lot of potential from a lot of people with the caste system. 
The caste system is a horrible, horrible, horrible way for anybody to live. And that is 100% true fact. Oh, uh, side note, I want to talk about a certain disease that really makes me uh, ashamed to call myself a human. Now, I'm paying for my university through a student loan, right? And I got to pay for these college books. Fuck, I hate these things, especially for the core classes. Pamphlet of literature stories is $120. Like, we are kids. We are so damn helpless. And of course, the book corporations can't stand with being slightly less rich. Did you know that capitalism by nature work because it's in our nature to not immediately screw over each other as much as possible for the maximum profit with no remorse? That doesn't sound right. Getting this uh, life to start out, it's a game of momentum to build your adulthood and it's a total catastrophe. You either start with money or never get it. Now money, currency as a concept, is a great thing. It certainly has been used well. Uh, fluidity, economics, and uh, crowdfunding are a real uh, cornerstone of society and beats when uh, thousands of people ran at each other with swords so their rich king can overtax the pheasants of that land. That's an actual thing that happened. You know, soil makes plants grow, no matter which rich dude taxes the people that live there. Anywho, um, but uh, money is not being used as a mutually benefiting negotiation for all parties involved. Money is just siphoned from the poor for the short-term benefit of the rich. And being young, working a shit job, I'm poor. Therefore, me and all the other poor 18 to 24 year olds are stuck in this trap, rig game, killing our momentum before we can even start. There's no technological restriction, you know, but the reality is for college students, especially ones without the support of their parents, face 40 hours of work each week mixed with classes, tests, and some seven bucks a day for food, gas, and savings. Why? I mean, why is this even an issue? Now, we're about to think a little deep and get a little philosophical, uh, philambable. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. Um, so why? <laughs> why do we not execute the perfect government and regulations that promote personal freedom and not limit man's best interest. I'd say it's because we are monkeys who found out how to use language. Now, as a monk, I believe in a higher power, but I also believe in evolution. And the progress of our race far, far outran our evolution. Our minds, our bodies, are meant to chase deer with sticks in the woods, not work nine to five in an office. Right? Hunters and gatherers. It's how we were built and how our minds operate. But then we started farming, started to create a written language, long-term strengths that only showed how grand they were until generations later. But our minds aren't that keen to what the world became. This. Internet. Cities. All that shit. Our minds are easy to fall back on what we evolved to. Most of the years humans existed as hunters, gatherers, or farmers. You know, gambling for example. Look at the odds. The house is always meant to take a profit 100% of the time. Yet, people spend their entire life savings on betting or gambling. It's a hack. It's a hiccup in our evolution that leads us to not being the best members of this new age. And... It's a total fuck over of young Americans. The poor getting poorer and the rich getting richer is a flaw of mankind that is really outside our realm of understanding. Because if you really think about it, this whole college cost issue is not at all helping us secure the next generation's well-being. If you're young and have to deal with this crap, 
I just want you to know I heart you. Yeah, when we start out, it's immediately restricting. So if you work a shit job and your coworkers are just disrespectful of you, just walk the hell out of there. Don't give them a two-week warning. There are hundreds of shit, low-paying, entry-level jobs out there. I'm still in my teen years, and I've worked seven jobs. My current job, I don't love, but I can work there all right. Till the glove fits. Classic process of trial and error. Okay, correction. And the time I wrote this script and when I'm recording, I lost that last job. <laughs> I tell you, don't bend over for 10 bucks an hour. It ain't worth it. All right. Remember to eat your breakfast. All right. Bye now. <laughs>